Hi, it's Mr. Kane here, and we're going to look inside the Earth. Well, not actually inside it, but we're going to look at how we know what is inside the Earth, what layers we have, and how it's all put together. So, how do we find this out? Yeah, we've never been there. We've read stories about it, like Jules Verne's sort journey to the center of the Earth. But how do we know about what's inside the planet? Well, we've dug holes. We've drilled holes down, and we've dug mines and look for stuff. We've got volcanoes that spit stuff out from inside the planet. Earthquakes, the energy waves tell us stuff. Uh, the tectonic plates, the way they move about, give us information. And the man, that we have a magnetic field tells us stuff. But how? So, mining. Yeah, we dug holes that go quite a long way down. I think the deepest mine is somewhere between two to three kilometers down. And we've gone down further with uh, drilling for oil and other things. Um, the information that comes out about the rock types and uh, layers that are down there. And the deeper you go, the hotter it gets. Volcanoes tell us it's hot that it's inside the earth as well, because uh, we've got molten rock being spat out of them. So that tells us what's in the next layer down, the layer we call the mantle what sort of chemicals are in those rocks and tells us what, uh, what's down there. Earthquakes, not nice to experience, I can tell you that firsthand, but the energy waves released from an earthquake, okay, so um, these waves that propagate out from the earthquake, they can be very useful. So we've got a couple of types of energy waves that we're going to look at. We've got what's called the um, the P wave and the S wave. We're not going to worry about L waves, but these body waves, they travel inside the planet and they can tell us quite a bit of useful stuff. A little bit like a submarine sending out sonar and then it, hearing the echo when it comes back off something and creating a picture of what's out there. So inside our planet, we have a molten core. We know that because of the way that earthquake waves behave. We know the mantle is hot under the crust because of the, uh, the what volcanoes spit out, and we know we have a molten core because of the earthquake waves. We have P waves, and uh, they travel out from where the earthquake happened, and when they hit a molten layer or liquid layer, they get refracted. The waves get bent. So in this region here, in this region here, seismographs do not pick up any, any earthquake. Earthquakes happened here, they can measure it here, they can measure it around here, but not here. And this angle here tells us how big the molten core is. S waves also travel through solid stuff, but not through liquid stuff. So they don't go through the core at all. So in the core here, all liquid, S waves don't travel through here. A big shadow zone, no S waves recorded down here, therefore we know how big the core is. It's the same thing with the, the mantle being semi-solid. We've got refraction and stuff, we can, we've measured how deep the crust is through the similar sort of way. Okay, so if we look at a world map of volcanoes, where they are, and then we overlay that a map of where the earthquakes happen. Do you see something similar? There's the volcanoes. There's the earthquakes. That tells us something about how the Earth's crust is put together. So we create a map of the tectonic plates that go together to make up the Earth's crust. So that's the tectonic plate map. There's the earthquake map. There's the volcano map. Earthquake map. Tectonic plate map. So you can see around the edges of the plates is where the volcanoes and earthquakes happen. So that's sort of telling us how our Earth is put together. So how do these plates move? Right. Now we've found out that the inside of the planet down here in the in the uh, core. Okay, way down here, 
we can tell that that there is um, down here it, that's all liquid down there okay and because it's hot the heat waves radiate out from that and they heat up the mantle next to the, to the core and that creates convection currents that rise up when they hit the solid crust they spread out they can't go any higher they spread this way and they spread this way and the friction beneath the crust here creates this slab pull it pulls the plate along the friction also when the plate is being forced down here the weight of all this stuff here helps to sort of pull it down as well back into the mantle so that's what's causing the plates to move it's the heat generated from inside the earth creating convection currents and friction pulling the plates along now we've got this inside here this liquid molten core now we know what the earth's made out of from the chemicals that come out of it and there's a lot of iron and if it's molten we figure it's heavy it's gone to the middle so this here molten core is made mostly of iron because it's generated a magnetic field around the earth okay this magnetic field like a big it's like there's a big magnet sitting here inside the earth okay so it's iron it's rotating it's creating a magnetic field we haven't been there but because we have a magnetic field we know the inside of the earth is hot we're pretty sure it must be iron because it's generated this magnetic field which we find is quite useful when we come to wanting to find our way about the planet so then we can put together a diagram like this to show the various layers inside the planet we have an inner core that must be solid the pressures down here doesn't matter how hot it is it's going to be solid we have a magnetic field created by the outer core which is molten iron we know how big it is because the way earthquake waves don't travel through it we have the uh, mantle layer here we can detect that with earthquake waves as well and that comes out through volcanoes and tells us what's, stuff, what's, what's beneath it here and we've got the, uh, the crust that we live on and we've poked holes in by drilling and by mining so that's inside our planet and that's how we know what's down there and I hope that's been helpful thanks for watching